and welcome back to another episode of I Speak Organize, where we practice the art of form and purpose. My name is Melanie, and I am your professional organizer and productivity consultant. In today's video, we're going to be tackling my linen closet, and we're going to be reorganizing the entire thing, which is a great opportunity for me to show you how to fold towels and the ever-elusive fitted sheet. I have some really fun techniques that you can try that might be a little different than what you're used to. And also, I am going to show you how my linen closet also functions as a utility closet. So it's a very small confined space. All of my utility supplies need to be easily accessible for emergency situations just in case. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in or perhaps something that you just need motivation to get done, then bring your phone with you to your own linen closet. We can do this together. Let's get started. Here we go. Oh my God, look how organized my house is. The first step I recommend on just about every project is to clear everything out. Trust me, it's worth the extra time to see all the contents laid out in the open to assess the scope of the next phase. And you may be thinking, Melanie, this doesn't actually look all that bad. There is a difference between how something looks and how it functions. Allow me to explain. So the issue that I'm having with my linen closet is not necessarily total disarray and disorganization. It's really just a lack of function in my systems and things are kind of placed um, somewhat randomly in, in there based upon size and um, shapes of different things and just basically where things will fit. So what I'm going to try to do today, I'm going to experiment with some different folding techniques I um, started this sort of like rolling technique for my towels um, because it actually provides me with a lot less to fit in a small piece of real estate so it, I'm able to fit more towels in a smaller space if that makes sense. So I'll show you guys how I do that. Um, I'm also going to be refolding some of these sheets which is a really good opportunity for me to show you how to fold a fitted sheet. Um, everybody has their own way of doing that, but I will show you what I do and hopefully that will help at some point. And then I'm just going to kind of go through and streamline my system for organizing everything so that it makes the most sense so that I can access things um, in a more efficient way. So I'll walk you through all that later. Okay, let's fold. Lay the towel flat on the floor and try fold it, tugging the ends and smoothing it out. Then fold it just shy of in half, leaving a small tail. Then roll. I pull the tail as I go because it will make the ends meet when we're all done. This towel now has structure. And the fitted sheet. Tuck the ends together, creating a pocket with the seams matched up. I kind of mold it into a rectangle because of the elastic lining. Smoothly fold all the sides in. With every fold, I leave that small tail so the sheet package will be less lumpy. Psst. If you feel like you're getting value out of this video or learning something new, could you do me a favor and hit the like button or maybe even consider subscribing to this channel? Thanks. And now for all the utility supplies in this closet. The batteries, the tape, the lighters, miscellaneous hardware. I recommend that you get yourself some stackable drawer sets and label like you mean it. I also separate screws and different smaller bits into Ziploc bags and try to hang on to the instruction manuals in case we need to fix something quickly. Once I felt like things were categorized correctly and grouped all the supplies that needed to be together, I started to reinstall my system. Since this was my own closet, I didn't diagram it. I sort of just played around with the spacing and fit. 
Now, if I were doing this for a client, I would take a reference photo of the empty space first and actually design a template for them during our first session. This helps clients visualize what's possible with the space or request specific placement needs before we install. I'll show you what I mean. Using a template can definitely make putting everything back go faster, but don't feel like you need to do this. That's typically just a perk when you hire a professional. So let's check out the finished product. Yeah, we did it! Woo! Thank you guys so much for sticking around with me until the very end. I really hope that you found the information useful in tackling your own linen closet project. It could be something that you have been putting off for years and years, so hopefully you were able to get this done with me. I know that if you're watching this video in the current time that it's being filmed, you also are probably homebound for the time being and looking for ways to fill your time with productive projects that you've been putting off. So if that sounds like you and you did it, congratulations. Know that I am so proud of you for doing this. I am proud of me for doing this. I am proud of us all for doing what we're doing right now just to stay positive and productive and taking it one day at a time. I will see you guys in the next video. Please consider subscribing to my channel if I haven't said that already. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Produce many more videos like this just in the... <sighs> Getting up and down out of this chair is very difficult when you like to put bowling balls under your shirt.